All right, coming up next, it's a UFC Heavyweight Showdown. They've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch them take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punches. He finds position. He finds posture. He brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands the big right hands that makes his opponents fold up and then he goes to the next position whether it be submission or continuing to ground the ground opponents into the bottom of the octagon. And of course it all starts with maintaining top position which he does as well as anyone in the game. Well the beard has given way to the goatee which means it must be fight night for the former two division UFC champion Daniel Cormier. How about that skin fade tonight looking good champ. The barber always does a great job of getting DC fight ready. It's part of the fight day preparation. You look good, you feel good, so I get a haircut on fight day. When I get into the octagon, I want to give the fans a show. From the wrestling to the striking, there is no area of mixed martial arts where I feel like I am outmatched, and it shows with the fact that I have won two UFC championships and have about 10 gold belts at my house in Gilroy. The head coach of the Gilroy High School wrestling team. Shout out to Rosendo Sanchez, boxing too as well. DC's jab has really become an educated one in the, the latter part of his career here. And in terms of the MMA application of wrestling, there's nobody who does it better. Once again, a big spot for DC here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, California, Daniel D. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. DC, here we go with round one. Of course, few guys in this division can grapple as effectively as he can. But maybe some pause tonight, given the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the other side. Yes, and he may use his grapple. Oh, good stick. Perhaps a 
sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick. That one appeared to stun him. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brock Lesnar! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.